Welcome to another episode of the Christian Buddy Show. First and foremostly, I would like to thank you for giving me your time, gracing me with your time. I know you're a very busy person. Let's jump into today's video. And what are we talking about today? We're talking about the existence of aliens. We're going into the deep end. We're, we're throwing all the rational brain aside. We're going straight into the what if brain, what could be brain. And to start off with this episode, let's talk about do aliens exist? I've always been fascinated with this question, with this paradigm, with this idea of aliens existing. Now, let's step back a bit. Let's slow down a bit. Aliens have been hyped up in pop culture for years and years. We see movies such as Close Encounters with the Third Kind, Signs with Mel Gibson. We see all these cool movies and aliens get a bad rap. They have this rap that there's some terraforming some monstrous aggressive being for the most part they're painted out in this light and i guess what sparked this video was you know i love listening to joe rogan i guess mm-hmm. he's got a lot of fame and popularity in the last 10 years and he has a range of guests on his podcast he had one in particular guest called travis walton now this is crazy shit. This is, you know, this is this is crazy stuff. So, yeah. Travis Walton is a self-proclaimed alien abductee. I want to kind of go into what he said and, and how I read into it. So, Travis Walton claimed to have been abducted by aliens. Fast forward into, his, into this podcast and he claimed that he was sucked up by this craft. Some tractor beam, some technology has pull him into this craft and he awoke on a bench on a metallic bench with three beings beside him yeah he's he is in this state of panic he doesn't know where he is and i want to kind of focus in on the description of these aliens because that's what i'm most curious about what they look like you know not from just out of my curiosity and he describes them as the typical greys hairless big black eyes and i just thought it was so cool just to hear that you just pause for just pause the video imagine how would you react if you saw a sentient being that you you quite can't understand what they are who they are so I think that from a psychological point of view, the, the first reaction would be obviously of panic, of fear. You, you know, you, 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 you can't understand your external reality. You can't, extend, you can't understand what you're seeing. You can't fathom what's in front of you. So that's cool. That's, I love it. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome to think that, to speculate that there is sentient life outside of our box that we live in. I think from a probabilistic standpoint, there is more likely to be sentient beings, advanced beings, another civilization. There is a probability for that if you're looking at the numbers, purely if you're looking at the numbers. So, yeah, I guess it's pretty cool when you when, when you step back and think about it. And I guess I want to leave you with the question, what would you do if you woke up with an alien staring at you at your bed? I mean, that would be pretty scary. I think it would be scary if anything was anything unknown was at your bed a robber or something what's going on mate yeah just leaving you with that thought do aliens exist i believe that aliens exist 100 percent. although the word aliens has kind of been thrown around in pop culture it's kind of like this hollywood icon if you will you know i prefer to call them sentient beings advanced beings yeah, I think it's just an awesome idea to internalize, to fathom. It's a crazy idea. Yeah, guys, that's been it for today's video. Do aliens exist? I absolutely 100% believe that they do. And I'm also a deep believer in meditation, in sharpening the mind, your, your mind spiritually. So I'm going to leave a card in the top right. I'm going to leave a card there. And you can have a look at my meditations if you like. That's fine. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate if you have watched this far into the video. It does help my YouTube videos a lot. And if you like this video, please leave a comment. I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you the best wishes for today. With that said, 
Make today count. Make this today the best day that you can. Let's move forward. Let's become better beings. Let's go.